I want to change the world. I want to change the world. I want to change the world. Da 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 da. -da. Patients, they come to the psychiatric office and they say, I want to do something big. I want to make a huge impact, something magnanimous. I want to change the world. It would do well to learn from Abraham because it starts first with changing to knowing your own inner world, knowing who you truly are and what your purpose is. Abraham, of course, knew that. And we see that he stood against the entire civilization of his time that was steeped in idol worship. And he was able to get them to understand that there is one God in the world. And now, in today's world, the entire world virtually has embraced that. But Abraham was much more than that. Abraham lived a life totally of kindness, of reaching out to others, of doing beautiful, kind deeds to others. And so in today's section of the Bible, we see that God says to Abraham, look up into the sky. You'll see those stars that are shining. And all your descendants, they will bring light to the world. And that's what the world is all about. And so I submit the following, that we can all change the world through these acts of kindness, just like Abraham. If we think of ourselves as standing on a balance beam, a seesaw, so to speak, if we take a step one way, we can change the world by bringing more goodness to the world, as opposed to stepping the other way. And every moment of our life, we have that opportunity by just simple acts of kindness to make the world a better place, to change the world. We don't have to do big, magnanimous things, but in reality, acts of kindness are magnanimous. No need to climb the highest mountains. No need to scream and shout unfurled. Each act of kindness should bring the world to good. That's how we change, yes, change the world.